Public Record Number 3343, Island Record Office, Jamaica. House of Dallas TM Copyright Linton O'Neill Dallas Estate TM Copyright. Awak Indian Nation, in America TM Copyright. C slash O Executor Office 2322 East Sabina Greater Portmore St. Catherine, Zamiaka, Jamaica Commonwealth. To God be the glory. Certified documents copy to the following. Office of Templar Church The Crown City of London, Crown Office Row. Office of Governor General Commonwealth of Jamaica. Office of Secretary of State United States of America. An authenticated foreign document. Protonotary or court clerk, file or record on demand. FN 01-8811U518768 U0916197 HTM copyright. Bond, LOD 1609197 Hyatum copyright. Dated, April 9, 2020. Superior Court of Record, Conditional Acceptance and Offer. Table of Contents. Section 0, Introduction. Section 1, Notice, Claimant Statement of Truth for the Public Record. 1. Name and Title. 2. Address or temporary post location for Date of birth or life event 3. Place of birth 5. Citizenship 6. Domicile 7. Diplomatic status and standing 8. Travel document Section 2. Notice Acknowledgement and acceptance of the bond and public oath or affirmation made under penalty of perjury. Section 3. Notice, absolute forgiveness and discharge forever of all known and unknown debts and liabilities. Section 4. Notice, appointment to the office of executor. Section 5. Notice, ordinance of estate. Section 6. Notice, fee schedule. Section 7, Notice, Judicial and Administrative Notice. Section 8, Notice, Arbitration Clause. Notice. I have paid the freight fee for this vessel document court, by way of United States of America $1 adhesive postal stamp representing 1 troy ounce of gold, which entitle me, and this document the right of passage as postmaster per Universal Postal Union requirements. Judiciary ACT. 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685 All rights reserved Page 2 Section 0 Introduction Notice the necessity of this document. 1. This document is published as public notice to correctly document, record and specify this claimant Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM copyright status as a non-resident, non-person, who is not an alien or statutory individual. All statutory individuals are statutory aliens pursuant to 26 CFR 1.1441-1, C3, and this claimant Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM copyright is not a statutory alien and therefore not an individual. Without being an individual, there cannot be a statutory person under 26 U.S.C. 7701-A1. One can be a foreigner. Without being a foreign person or even a person. One cannot be a statutory taxpayer without being a person and the definition of person found in 26 U.S.C. 7343 and 6671b, does not include this claimant Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM copyright for the purpose of any aspect of public policy enforcement. 2. The presumption rules at 26 CFR 1441-1, b, 3, do not allow you to presume or enforce any status other than that which Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM copyright report here. Conclusive presumptions that impair constitutional guaranteed rights by imposing civil status changes that are simply false are unconstitutional, a criminal tort of identity theft, and fraud on the part of this claimant Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM copyright. 
This document and the information herein is classified as reliable documentation under the rules because it is autograph and signed under penalty of perjury and satisfy the requirements for a withholding certificate described in 26 CFR 1.1441-1 C-16 through C-18. 3. It is a maxim of law that consensus facet legium. Consent makes the law. A contract or civil law is a law between parties, which can acquire force only by consent. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Notice, summary of the direct impact on you, the recipient. 1. The transaction to which our relationship relates are not in the geographical United States, as defined in 26 U.S.C. 7701, A9, and A10, and 4U.S.C. 110D, and therefore not U.S. source payments. Neither are they earned by a statutory citizen of the United States, 8 U.S.C. 1401, abroad as United States is therein defined. Therefore, they are not foreign source payment earned abroad either. The Internal Revenue Code does not govern our relationship. 2. You may not deduct or withhold from the amount you pay me. Withholding only pertain to non-resident alien under IRC Chapter 24, and I am not such an alien. Doing so would therefore be a taking of property, without compensation in violation of the Fifth Amendment, and criminal extortion if threat of termination of our relationship is used to misrepresent my status and obligations. 3. You may not report any of the payments made using any published information return, because 26 U.S.C. 6041a allows such reports only in the case I am engaged in a statutory trade or business, which is defined as a public office in 26 U.S.C. 7701, A. 26. Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM copyright is not engaged in a trade or business, and making it look like I am, is a crime pursuant to 18 U.S.C. 912. You are demanded to provide court admissible proof at the time of the presentment of this document, or forever be, as stopped from changing your position later. 4. You may not request or demand a social security number tax identification number, because I am not required to give you one. Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM copyright is not eligible to participate in Social Security, and forcing me to participate is a crime pursuant to 18 U.S.C. 912 and 42 U.S.C. 408. Furthermore, any regulation that requires such numbers exceeds the scope of statutes. Nowhere in the statutes are such numbers ever required for those who are not statutory persons, taxpayers, citizens, and residents, or those not domiciled on federal territory, or representing entities so domiciled. 5. I, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright is not a tax protester, tax denier, sovereign citizen, or any other convenient stereotype or label. Rather, I am a crime fighter who seek to enforce the law and preserve the requirement for express written fully informed consent of the governed, that is the origin of all just civil authority of the government according to the Declaration of Independence of July 4, 1776. 6. I, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright is not ANTI government, but rather pro-self-government under the authority of God's laws. I am the living man, and not a civil statutory person, who has a legal residence, or legal domicile. Dallas, Linton O'Neill copyright is endowed by his creator with certain fundamental right to life, liberty, and property, guaranteed, and secured by the organic constitution of 1787 amended as the Bill of Rights in 1789, then ratified in 1791. My lawgiver, my judge, my power, and my only civil protector is God the creator of life. 7. The forced involuntary use of U.S. funds, such as Federal Reserve Bank, or system notes, commercial liability instruments, and electronic liability transactions as part of a scheme to compel the principles to impart artificial commodity value to the liability evidence thereon, on the authority of McLeod v. Hoover, June 22nd. 1925, number 26395, S. C. T. Louisiana. 105S, Republic 305, that court citing U.S. Bank v. Bank of Georgia, 23 U.S. 333, 10. Wheat, 333, 
6L, edition 34. 8. The quotation of the privately copyrighted statutory legislatively created case law and state and federal statutes pursuant to Public Law 88-244, December 30, 1963, is done without intent to create a use or violate any private copyright or give legal advice to anyone and stands so unless lawfully protested by any concerned parties. Judiciary ACT 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685 All Rights Reserved Page 3 Section 1 Notice, Claimant Statement of Truth, for the Public Record 1. Name, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright, a.k.a. Wawaku TM Copyright, and Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM Copyright. 2. Title, General Executor over the Linton O'Neill Dallas TM Copyright Estate in Trust. 3. Mailing Address, Not a Domicile C-0232-2 East Sabina. Greater Portmore St. Catherine Zamiaka, Correction Zamaka, Jamaica Commonwealth. 4. Date of Birth, September 16, 1971 at 3.45 a.m. 5. Place of Birth, American Island of Zamiaka, Jamaica Commonwealth. 6. Citizenship, Constitutional, but not Statutory Citizen, National, but not Citizen under Federal Law, Pursuant to 8 U.S.C. 1101, A-21. Born in State of the Union on this Earth. Not in. 1. Alien, per 26 U.S.C. 7701, B, 1A. 2. Individual, per 26 CFR 1.1441-1, C, 3. 3. Citizen of the United States, per 8 U.S.C. 1401 and 26 CFR 1.1, C, per Roger V. Belay 401 U.S. 815, 1971. Stateless person, world citizenship as per Newman Green v. Alfonso La Reign, 490 U.S. 826, 1989. Constitutional diversity of citizenship pursuant to U.S. Constitution Article 3, Section 2, but not statutory diversity pursuant to 28 U.S.C. 1332. 7. Domicile, non-federal area within the de jure state of the Union, House of Dallas. 1. Not part of the state defined in 26 U.S.C. 7701, A. 10, for U.S.C. 110, D. 42 U.S.C. 1301, A. 1, or 28 U.S.C. 1332, D. Nor part of the geological sense of United States defined in 26 U.S.C. 7701, A. 9, or 42 U.S.C. 1301, A. 2. 2. Not a political alien pursuant to 8 U.S.C. 1101, A. 3 nor a resident alien pursuant to 26 U.S.C. 7701, B. 1, A, since a national of the nation United States. A civil sense, or legal alien, pursuant to 8 U.S.C. 1101, A. 3, since not domiciled in the geographical sense United States defined in either 26 U.S.C. 7701, A. 9, or 42 U.S.C. 1301, A. 2. 3, not a resident within the IRC, because only statutory alien can have a resident per 26 CFR 1.871-2. Constitutional citizens or nationals of the United States of America have a domicile rather than a residence. Only privileged constitutional or political alien have a residence. 8. Diplomatic status and standing, the following constitute internationally protected persons pursuant to Title 18 U.S.C. 112 who are immune, not exempt, from federal income taxation pursuant to 26 U.S.C. 892. American Indian not taxed. 9. Travel document, World Passport, RE4137428.72 U.S. issued by the World Service Authority located in Washington, D.C. is the private personal international travel document used to self-identify in accordance with Article 13, Section 2 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights of 1948. Article 1 of the said UDHR states, 
All man is born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one and others in a spirit of brotherhood. Article 21, 3, states, The will of the people shall be the basis of the authority of the government. This will shall be expressed in periodic and genuine elections which shall be by universal and equal suffrage and shall be held by secret vote or by equivalent free voting procedures. Article 28 states, Everyone is entitled to a social and international order in which the rights and freedom set. Fourth in the Declaration can be fully realized. Article 13, 2, provides that everyone has the right to leave any country including one's own and return to one's country. Therefore, as an Awak Indian of the American island of Zamayaka, Jamaica Commonwealth, Dallas, Linton and Elex is in fact immune from all taxes including pay tolls and is to be granted a visa waiver from all travel within my ancestral land the American continent without restrictions and or conditions. It is a maxim of law that liberty is more favored than all things. It is a maxim of law that the man who interfere with another man's liberty does so at his own peril. It is a maxim of law that peonage and involuntary servitude is forbidden and immunity denied to any party, real or imagined person or public servants who would or conspire to traffic in slaves or participate in aiding or abetting. Client v. U.S., 197 U.S. 207, 1905, Plessy v. Ferguson, 163 U.S. 537, 542. Whoever, Title 18 U.S.C. Seconds. 1581, holds or returns any person to a condition of peonage or arrests any person with the intent of placing him in or returning him to a condition of peonage, shall be fined not more than $5,000 or imprisoned not more than five years. I consider justice and truth more important than personal profit, or material wealth, or personal security. I do hereby claim and declare the right to be, left alone by everyone including the United States Incorporated, and its instrumentality the Government of Jamaica. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685 All Rights Reserved Page 4 Section 2 Notice Acknowledgement and Acceptance of the Bond and Public Oath of Office 1. I, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas as Principal does hereby declare and claim common law jurisdiction with equitable remedy by estoppel. 2. I, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas as Principal does not consent to voluntary nor involuntary servitude, and I, Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM copyright waive all statutory benefits. 3. I. Dallas, Linton O'Neill as principal does hereby acknowledge and accept the bond and public oath or affirmation declared under penalties of perjury by all public servants federal, state, local government in full accord. 4. I. Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas as principal does hereby revoke, rescind, cancel, void and do not consent to any power of attorney I may have authorized on any contracts I may have entered into during infancy. 5. I, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas as principal does hereby declare and claim Article 3 court venue with full diplomatic immunity. 6. I, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas as principal, having presented myself before this court as evidence on admissions, is not deficient and has committed no crime. I am here at court as king, without an equal or superior. 7. I, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas as principal does hereby invoke declare and claim the court of marshal see termed court of steward and marshal or palace court. A court that moves about with the king and have jurisdiction over certain cases arising within 12, 12 miles of the king's residence, an area known as the verge, that edge of protection ordained by God. 8. I, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM copyright as principal, have acknowledged and accepted the certification of vital record, established the executor's office, and assumed the role of executor over the Linton Owen EIL Dallastum copyright property. C. Public Record Number, 8009. 9. Let it be known, 
by this evidence and notice that the embossed seal created by my own hand is exclusively for the property named or known as Linton O'Neill Dallastum copyright of the House of Dallas Trust. In addition, the house flag is the archaic symbol for peace, unity and friendship with all peoples of the earth. The embossed seal is the emblem and insignia of Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright Autonomous Authority in Sweet Juris Capacity, emanating from the Office of Executor, will be the only valid authorization for all commercial or legal actions regarding said trademark, copyright, copy claim property. 10. I. Dallas, Linton O'Neill has terminate the registered agent and agency. C. Public Record Number, 7860. 11. I. Dallas, Linton O'Neill has given notice of the copyright slash copy claim unauthorized use of the property named or known as Linton O'Neill Dallastum Copyright. C. Public Record Number 7861. 12. I do hereby declare and claim the registered certificate of title, doing business as, Linton O'Neill Dallastum Copyright, State File Number 01020310821-2009, Assessor's Parcel Number AA8811, Bond Number A5187686, along with all derivatives of said property. Treasury Registration Number 11284106 attached to the driver's license. Caribbean Community Passport A3206615, National Insurance K712108 etc. AL. 13. If you public servants, the recipients, do not know what this is, then verify with your supervisor if they wish to be responsible for your actions before making an unauthorized legal determination, which may place you, your supervisor, and your principal, Secretary of State, in an Article 3 impeachable felony situation which is treason. 14. You are public servants are in breach of your fiduciary duties and your public oath of office the moment you interfere with my liberty and duty to exercise my fundamental right to be free, to think freely, to exist freely, and to truly be free to travel unrestricted, unencumbered, and the control of one's own property. You are public servants are acting contrary to and in violation of the supreme law of the land, becoming impostors in office, and outlaw employees committing fraud by taking wages under false pretense. 15. The implementation of codes, rules, regulations, and statutes are nothing more than post facto laws absolutely forbidden by the organic national constitution and state constitution to which all justices, judges and magistrates swore a solemn public oath to uphold. It is a gross negligence to fail to distinguish between a statute and a law. No state shall convert a liberty, right to travel, into a privilege, license it, and attach a fee to it. C. Murdoch v. Pen 319 U.S. 105 16. You public servants are trespassing upon my property, without authority, or right, and has caused damage and harm to I's man. This constitutes a trademark. Copyright infringement claims of 500,000 United States dollars penalty for each occurrences or violations. This is your only warning update your records accordingly. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789. Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. Page 5. Section 3. Notice, absolute forgiveness and discharge forever of all known and unknown estate debts, duties, claims, and liabilities. For the record, upon my honor, let it be known and evident to all concerned persons, entities man or woman across the earth, through the announcement and notice of this perfect free will writing. Sealed by my own hand, in an offer to bring peace, harmony, and wholeness to the earth. That I, Linton O'Neill X the living soul manifest, in full life, natural, non-adverse, non-belligerent, non-combative state of B.I.N.G., known as man, estate heir, and dignitary now acknowledges all that is the complete will and testament of the estate named, or known as, 
Linton O'Neill Dallas TM Copyright, now and forever absolutely forgive and discharge all known and unknown estate debts, duties, claims, and liabilities. This absolute forgiveness and discharge includes, but is not limited to, any estate debt, duty, donation, claim, contract, covenant, conveyance, custom, bill, bond, bargain, article, interest, obligation, franchise, promise, pledge, novation, encumbrance, mortgage, lien, letter, liability, legacy, judgment, order, warranty, attachment, hold, copy, custody, consideration, information, reservation, privilege, immunity, suit, prescription, responsibility, administration, management, term, or condition. Thus freeing, liberating, and emancipating forever all persons, property, and sureties from any estate-related performance or burden. In addition, through this absolute forgiveness and discharge, all estate res, remainder, or reversion, including, but not limited to, any subject, matter, issue, person, character, instrument, deed, will, title, certificate, benefit, insurance, policy, account, security, deposit, pension, fund, or retirement plan, be it dispositive, appointive, nominative, or other, is hereby consolidate, merge, and extinguished. Ultimately returning said estate to its complete original natural whole state of dignity and domain for I am. Section 4. Notice, appointment to the office of executor over the estate named or known as Linton O'Neill Dallas. Let it now be known and evident to all concerned persons or men across the earth, through the announcement and notice of this perfect free will writing. Sealed by my own hand, in an offer to bring peace, harmony, and wholeness to the entire earth. That I, the living soul manifest in full life. Non-adverse, non-belligerent, non-combative state of B-I-N-G, known as man, estate heir, and dignitary acknowledges all that is the complete will and testament of the estate named, or known as, Linton O'Neill Dallas. As Special Delivery Dallas, Linton O'Neill. Created in the image of my creators, my mom and dad. Birthed, or delivered on September 16, 1971, through the hand, or water of my natural-born mom, or her person. Now invoke this formal self-executing appointment, and appoint Linton O'Neill to the office of executor, to act in various capacity, should the need ever arise, within the commercial realm, for all intents and purposes, and with full and complete authority, regarding the estate named, or known as, Linton O'Neill Dallas. I now also declare to all concerned persons across the earth, through this evidence, and notice that the embossed seal created by my own hand, exclusively for the estate named, or known as, Linton O'Neill Dallas. Emanating from the Office of Executor, shall be the only valid authorization for all commercial or legal actions regarding said estate. The House of Dallas estate flag represent the archaic symbol for peace and friendship between our societies, a walk Indian nation, in America, our estate house of Dallas, and all living souls of the earth. President and Chief Executive Officer Dallas, Linton O'Neill is separate and distinct from the estate named or known as Linton O'Neill Dallas. This document evidenced the separation of entity living soul Dallas, Linton O'Neill, from the named estate, Linton O'Neill Dallas the legal personality, which is a presumption of law. Section 5. Notice, Ordinance of the Linton O'Neill Dallas Estate. This attached legislation is to be distributed to all known agents, affiliates, associations, cosigns et. Al. 1. The Ordinance of Estates is a public law designed to allow you the opportunity to settle, resolve, and cure any mistakes your agency has been involved in under corporate policy and agenda. 2. As you know, human trafficking is unlawful, however, corporate policy has allowed you by private acts and acts of commerce to kidnap man or woman bringing them before courts maintained by Federal Reserve Bank System, under color of law, forbidden by the supreme law of the land. This action is called privateering. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789. Judiciary ACT, 
25 June 1948 CH 645 greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. Page 6. 3. There appear to be a mistaken identity, wherein the estate named or known as Linton O'Neill Dallas TM copyright as the United States in REM, ET. AL has been administered by your agency without lawful authority, wherein your corporation, via commission, has been granted a letter of mark, a business license unlawfully authorizing you to be a privateer. If you would like to contract further with the trust estate, you may now refer to the fee schedule. 4i Linton O'Neill TM Copyright authorize the use of the proper name as exemplified herein, without capitalization, as Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright aka Awawaku TM Copyright, or in the alternative Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM Copyright only, renouncing all hypothecation. Any business licensed privateers acting on information, Treaty of Peace, Assigns, and Successors shall use temporary post location listed above only as per 18U.S.C. 1342. Any Unlawful violation of the proclamation or any other by deceit, act, motion, trick, simulation, or any other. Willful crime contracted charges pursuant to fee schedule shall bind you to this self-executing security agreement. U.S. Code Title 18 Part 1 Chapter 63 1342 Fictitious Name or Address June 25, 1948, CH 645, 62 STAT 763, PUBL, 91 to 375, 6, J, 12, August 12, 1970, 84 STAT 778, PUBL, 103 to 322, Title XXXIII. 330016-1-H, September 13, 1994, 108 STAT 2147. 5. I. Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright, functioning from the Office of Executor has the absolute authority to keep and bear armaments of any kind, for the protection of self and progeny, neighbors and community. Any infringement on said authority will be, met with contracted charges pursuant to fee schedule. 6. I. Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright, functioning from the Executor Office, is not to be arrest or held for detention under any colorable circumstances nor shall I, as man held liable for any loss that results from judgment error that was, made in good faith. 7. I. Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright, functioning from the Executor Office, non-adverse, non-belligerent, non-combative state of BING, given grant for a hold harmless and full indemnity stance in law, in good faith performance of duty as active action through the authority of the Executor Office. 8. I. Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright Principal, functioning from the Executor Office authorizes to further indemnify and hold harmless any third-party man or woman who accepts and act under good faith to uphold this document. 9. Hearing given through gift and by grant to this said man Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright, functioning from the Office of Executor. Full power and authority to do all and every act and thing whatsoever requisite and necessary to be done relative to any of the current events and their continuation as fully to all intents and purposes as principal might or could do if personally present. 10. All public servants are to enlist all available and appropriate measures to ensure and assure that this man's sovereign authority and immunity in his sovereign state capacity is not violated, not breached, nor abridged via do not stop, do not detain, do not interrogate, lifetime conceal weapons, and or armament permit list sent to all respective agencies. 11. This is the only notice you will receive. Notice to agent is notice to principal, notice to principal is notice to agent, meaning if you are not with authorization to settle or cure you are required by law to notify your superiors. In addition, if you are in a position of authority, and one of your agents shall unlawfully kidnap any member of a walk Indian nation, in America, or any member of the House of Dallas you shall, and will be, held liable and accountable. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Contracted charges pursuant to fee schedule listed in Section 5 shall bind you to this agreement. 12. 
If your corporation or foreign state is operating under private act and acts of commerce, you are without sovereignty and immunity, as per 28 U.S.C. Chapter 97, Foreign Sovereign Immunities Act. 13. A crime is an offense against a public law. This word, in its most general signification, comprehends all offenses, but, in its limited sense, it is confined to felony. 1. Chitty, General PR 14. 14. Title 28 U.S. Code 454. Practice of law by justices, judges and magistrates. Any justice or judge appointed under the authority of the United States, who engages in the practice of law, is guilty of a high misdemeanor. June 25, 1948, CH 646, 62 STAT 908. Section 6. Notice, fee schedule, self-executing security agreement, coupled with interest. 1. I. Dallas, Linton and Elex as principal reserves the nature and character of his exact and proper designation as Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright, a.k.a. Wawaku T, or in the alternative, Dallas, Linton O'Neill X, which shall be spelled, written, formatted, printed, engraved, and inscribed now, and in perpetuity in all media exactly and precisely as just above written with the two given names attached by a hyphen, but separated from, and joined to, a house name by a mark of full colon followed by the words House of Dallas with the first letter of each given and house name being capitalized, and all other letters being written in lower case fully in accord with the rules of English grammar. 2. I, Linton O'Neill X, House of Dallas Principal, does hereby set forth fees to be instated in any business dealing with Linton O'Neill Dallas trademark copyright for any business conducted relevant to this schedule. 3. Fees are due and must be paid I in full before said business can commence. In the event that invoicing becomes necessary, invoice amounts are due 15, 15, calendar days after date of invoice receipt. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. Page 7. 4. If said fees are not paid, it is the right of the principal, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM copyright to refuse or void any form of business interactions and or business transactions. 5. Fees are subject to change at any time without prior notice. I, Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright is the only authorized personnel to alter, void, or enforce said fees, and may do so at any time without prejudice. Per occurrence and includes any third-party defendant man or woman all claims are, stated in U.S. dollars, which means that a U.S. dollar will be defined, for this purpose as one ounce silver coin of 0.999 pure silver, or the equivalent par value as established by law or the exchange rate, as set by the U.S. Mint. Whichever is the higher amount, for a certified one ounce silver coin, U.S. silver dollar, at the time of the first day of default as set forth herein, if the claim is to be paid in Federal Reserve. Notes, Federal Reserve notes will only be assessed at par value as indicated above. Total damages will be assessed as the total amount of the damages as set forth herein, times 3, 3, for a total of all damages as set forth in subsections AW added to 3, 3, times the damages for punitive or other additional damages. Private easements schedule penalty for private use $250,000 Public easements schedule penalty for public use $250,000 These fees will be the mandate upon the informant listed on the traffic citation tickets, arrest warrants, detention orders, and seizure orders. Produce trade name materials, A. Name $50,000 B. Driver's license number $50,000 C. Social security number or treasury registration number $100,000 D. Retinal scans $500,000 E, fingerprinting $200,000 F, photographing $200,000 G, DNA $500,000 1. Mouth swab $500,000 2. Blood samples $500,000 3. Urine samples $500,000 4. 
Breathalyzer testing $500,000 5. Hair samples $500,000 6. Skin samples $500,000 7. Clothing samples $500,000 8. Forced giving of fluids or samples $500,000 issue traffic citations and tickets of any traffic nature. A. Citation $60,000 B. Warning issued on paper ticket $250,000. Appearance in court because of traffic citations. A. Time in court $75,000.00 slash hours. With one hour am I in. B. If fine is imposed $500,000 car or personal property trespass, carjacking, theft, and interference with liberty. A. Agency by estoppel $50,000. B. Color of law $150,000. C. Implied color of law $150,000 D. Criminal coercion $500,000 E. Criminal contempt of court $500,000 F. Estoppel by election $350,000 G. Estoppel by latches $350,000 H. Equitable estoppel $500,000 I. Fraud $100,000 J. Fraud upon the court $200,000 K. Larceny $250,000 L. Grand. Larceny $250,000 M. Larceny by extortion $100,000 N. Larceny by trick $100,000 O. Obstruction of justice $100,000 P. Obtaining property by false pretenses $100,000 Q. Simulating legal process $100,000 R. Vexatious litigation $500,000 S. Trespass upon motor conveyance $100,000 T. Unauthorized relocation of motor conveyance $100,000 U. Seizure of motor conveyance $100,000 V. Theft of license plate $10,000. W. Unlawful lien on motor conveyance $50,000. Use of trade name protected material under threat, duress, and or coercion. A. Name written by the informant $250,000. Judiciary ACT. 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685 All rights reserved Page 8 B. Driver's license written by informant $150,000 C. Social security number written by informant $150,000 D. Miscellaneous material written by informant $500,000 Produce any personal information or property for any kind of business interaction. A. Financial information $100,000 B. Property inside of motor vehicle $150,000 Time usage for traffic stops. A. 30 minutes dollar 5 comma 0 0 0 point 0 0 slash 30 minutes minimum B. 60 minutes ten thousand dollars C. 90 minutes fifteen thousand dollars court appearance fee. Schedule. These fees must be paid immediately after my case is finished. Failure to pay fines and fees will have an additional fee of five thousand dollars for breach of contract. Demand for appearance in court. A. In my appearance under protest and duress. $75,000 per hour B, voluntarily $10,000 per hour. Use of trade name material, name A, under protest and duress, $25,000 plus $500,000 B, voluntarily $10,000 driver's license A, under protest and duress, $25,000. B, voluntarily $10,000. Social Security Number Slash Treasury Registration Number A. Under Protest and Duress $25,000 B. Voluntarily $10,000 C. Miscellaneous Material $25,000 Produce any personal information for any kind of business interaction A. Financial Information $10,000 B. Driver's License $10,000 C. Social Security Number $25,000.00D any documents produced by me $10,000 per document time usage for court appearances, A. 30 minutes under protest, and duress $33,500 A. Voluntarily $10,000 B. 
60 minutes under protest, and duress $75,000 a, voluntarily $20,000 c. 90 minutes or more under protest, and duress $100,500 a, voluntarily $30,000 transgressions fee schedule, transgressions by public servants, police officers, judges, attorneys, and all other who desire to contract, a. Failure to honor fundamental God-given rights $20,000 b. Failure to honor public oath of office $50,000 c. Failure to honor organic constitutional oath $50,000 d. Failure to honor written and or oral word $5,000 e. Silence, or dishonor, or default $5,000 f. Failure to honor, or no bond $5,000 g. Phone call to telephone number used by secured party including from alleged debt collectors $5,000 each. H. Telephone message left on secured party phone service or equipment $5,000 each. I. Use of street address slash mailing location of secured party $5,000 each. J. Time waiting for scheduled service $1,000 minimum or per hour. K. Detention from free movement and or cuffed $75,000 minimum or per hour L, incarceration $75,000 minimum, or per hour. M, failure to follow federal and or state statutes, codes, rules and or regulations $50,000 N, failure to state a claim upon which relief can be grant. $250,000 O, failure to present a living injured party, man or woman $100,000 P, failure to provide contract signed by the party. Man or woman dollar one hundred comma zero 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 point zero zero Q failure to provide IRS ten ninety nine OID S and other IRS reporting forms requirements upon request dollar one hundred comma zero 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 point zero zero are default by non response or incomplete response dollar one hundred comma zero 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 point zero zero S Fraud dollar one hundred comma zero 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 point zero zero t racketeering dollar one hundred comma zero 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 point zero zero u theft of public funds dollar one hundred comma zero 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 point zero zero v dishonor in commerce dollar one hundred comma zero 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 point zero zero w failure to pay counterclaim in full within thirty thirty calendar days of default as set forth herein dollar one hundred comma zero 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 point zero zero x Perverting of justice judgment dollar one hundred comma zero 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 point zero zero y use of common law trade name slash trademark judiciary act twenty four september seventeen eighty nine section three forty two first congress session one ch twenty greater than one thousand seven hundred and eighty nine judiciary act twenty five june nineteen forty eight ch six hundred and forty five greater than sixty two stat six eighty five all rights reserved page nine after one warning per each occurrence fifty thousand dollars each w forcing psychiatric evaluations fifty thousand dollars per day x refusal to provide adequate and proper nutrition while incarcerated $50,000 per day Y, refusal to provide proper exercise, while incarcerated $50,000 per day. Z, refusal to provide proper dental care, while incarcerated $50,000 per day. A, a forced giving of body fluids $500,000 per day. B, B, forced injections slash inoculations, vaccines $500,000 per day. CC forced separation from marriage contract $160,000 per day. DD confiscation slash kidnapping of a body not a U.S. citizen $160,000 per day. E. Corporate state continuing a mortgage for more than five years in violation of Banking Act of 1864, which takes precedence over current statutes at large $160,000 per day. FF attempted extortion of funds from birth certificate account, social security account, or any other associated accounts by fraud, deception, and or forgery by any agent, entity, or corporation. $600,000 per count slash charge. GG. Attempted extortion of signature $600,000 per count slash charge. HH. 
Attempted forgery of signature $600,000 per count slash charge. Kidnapping. If an alleged officer removes free soul more than five, five feet from free soul's property without just cause, it is kidnapping. $500,000 services to others and or corporations. A. Studying $500 per hour while under threat, duress, coercion $75,000 per hour. B. Analyzing $500 per hour while under threat, duress, coercion $75,000 per hour. C. Research $500 per hour while under threat, duress, coercion $75,000 per hour. D. Preparing documents $500 per hour while under threat, duress, coercion $75,000 per hour. E. Answering questions $500 per hour while under threat, duress, coercion $75,000 per hour. F. Providing information $500 per hour while under threat, duress, coercion $75,000 per hour. Section 7. Notice, Judicial and Administrative Notice. 1. All public servants in receipt of this notice are required by their oath of office to answer. Notification of legal responsibility is the first essential of due process of law Connolly v. General Construction Company, 269 U.S. 385,391. Silence can only be equated with fraud where there is a legal or moral duty to speak or when an inquiry left unanswered would be intentionally misleading. U.S. v. Treal, 550F.2D.297. It is the ministerial fiduciary slash trustee duty of each and every government official, officer, agent, contractor, and a sign of the United States and its instrumentalities to timely and fully answer Federal Crop Insurance v. Merrill, 1947, 332 U.S. 380, 92 L.Ed. 10, 68 S.C.D. 1, 175 A.L.R. 1075. 2. The period for respondents to respond to this notice is 30 30 calendar days. Any party or public servants wishing to answer, respond, refute, rebut, deny, object, or protest any statement, term, declaration, denial, or provision in this presentment must do so by lawful protest within 30 30 calendar days of the date of issuance or forever lose all rights, titles, interests, and the opportunity to plead. All such responses must be verified and have exhibitions and factual evidence in support annexed thereto. 3. Respondents may agree with all statements, terms, declarations, denials, and provisions herein by remaining silent. Failure to timely respond to all such terms and provisions with which respondents disagree comprises respondents' stipulation and confession jointly and severally to acceptance of all statements, terms, conditions, declarations, denials and provisions herein as facts, the whole truth, correct and fully binding on all parties. 4. This document serves as notice of fault in the event respondents fail to timely respond. 5. Notice of default shall be issued no sooner than 3, 3, days after notice of fault. Default is final 3, 3, days after notice of fault is issue. Default comprises respondents consent jointly and severally to be named as defendants in various actions, administrative and judicial. 6. Upon default, all matters are settled residential judicata and stare decisis by way of arbitration. 7. Default comprises an estoppel of all actions, administrative and judicial, by respondents against Linton O'Neill, House of Dallas TM Copyright, 3J. Pomeroy, Equity Jurisprudence Section 805, P. 192, Restatement 2D of Torts Section 894, L. 1979, and now reasonably relied on, Wilbur National Bank v. U.S. 294 U.S. 120, 124-125, 1935, due to misconduct by government agents Heckler v. Community Health Services, 467 U.S. 51, at 59, 60, Federal Crop INS. Supra. It, the doctrine of estoppel by silence, arises where a person is under duty to another to speak, or failure to speak is inconsistent with honest dealings. In Rima Cardle's estate, 140 miscellaneous, 257, ETSEQ, and silence, to work estoppel, 
must amount to bad faith. Wise v. USDC Kentucky, 38 F SUP, 130, 134, were duty and opportunity to speak, COD v. Westchester Fire INS Company 14 Washington 2D 600, 128 P2D 968, 151 ALR 316, creating ignorance of facts. Cushing v. U.S. Moss S. 18 F SUP, 83, inducing person claiming estoppel to alter his position, Branch v. Freaking, 219 Iowa 556, 258 NW 892, Knowledge of Facts and of Rights by Person Estopped, Harvey v. Richard, 200 Law 97, 7 So. 2D 674, Willful or Culpable Silence, Lanconi v. Fidelity Trust and Savings Bank of Fresno, 96 Calories, App, 490, 273 P. 103 ETS EQ, Silence Implies Knowledge and an Opportunity to Act Upon It, Pence v. Langdon. 99 U.S. 578 at 581, E.T. Sec. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789. Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. Page 10. Section 8. Notice, Arbitration Clause. 1. This agreement established and creates a special relationship whereby an arbitrator shall be assigned as trustee and may act only within the framework of this agreement irrespective of statutes, regulations, codes, ordinances, and must adhere to the Federal Arbitration Act so long as it is consistent with the terms and conditions specified herein. 2. Resolution and Settlement The parties agree that this agreement, and the terms of the proposed judgment, as set out below, constitute a full and fair settlement of all claims raised in this matter, and that could be raised in this matter, and should be entered as the judgment in this matter by the court. The judgment is intended to and will extinguish all claims that exist, or that may exist between the parties to it, known or unknown, as of the date, this agreement is signed. 3. Binding on others. The parties further agree that all officers, agents, employees, directors, contractors, etc., who act on behalf of the parties with respect to this agreement are to be bound by the requirements of this agreement and any awards or judgments made pursuant thereto and that, upon request of either party, the other will provide evidence of such requirements to the party. Any interested parties, third parties, non-directly related parties shall be held in special relationship of this agreement, and their introduction into this matter shall constitute their assuming the role of trustee carrying out the dictates of this agreement with the exception of arbitrator. As the parties hereby and herein agreed that, the arbitrator shall have exclusive jurisdiction to determine the validity of this agreement, as well as this arbitration clause. The non-defaulting party shall choose the venue for arbitration. 4. Injunctive Relief in the event of the actual or threatened breach of any of the provisions of this agreement, either parties in addition to all other rights shall be entitled to an injunction, restraining either party, or such party's agent. Nothing herein shall be, construed as prohibiting either party from pursuing any other available remedy for such breach, or threatened breach, including recovery of damages and attorney's fees from the other parties. This provision shall remain in full force and effect in the event that one party should claim that the other party violated any of the terms of this agreement. Notice, Dispute Resolution 1. Dispute As used herein, dispute shall include any claim or controversy arising out of this agreement, or the breach, termination, or validity thereof, involving either of the parties, or their affiliates, and the officers, directors, employees, contractors or agents thereof, including any claims or controversies which could otherwise be submitted to a court of competent jurisdiction. 2. Negotiation. The parties will attempt to resolve, in good faith, any dispute which arises in connection with this agreement by negotiations. If any dispute cannot be resolved through negotiations, the parties agree that any such dispute shall be resolved by arbitration. Notice, Arbitration. 1. Agreement to Arbitrate Dispute 
If the parties cannot resolve a dispute through negotiations, the parties agree and consent to submit all disputes, which could otherwise be submit to a court of competent jurisdiction, to arbitration. Arbitration hereunder shall be the party's exclusive remedy, and the arbitrator is empowered under this agreement to make any or all necessary and appropriate orders, pre-award rulings and awards granting both legal and equitable relief to enforce the terms and obligations of this agreement, including all matters relating hereto and arising therefrom. In the event of any conflict of laws or rules for arbitration of this agreement, the provisions of this agreement shall govern. 2. In line with this agreement, the Federal Arbitration Act, as relevant here, the Act provides a written provision in a contract evidencing a transaction involving commerce to be settled by arbitration a controversy thereafter arising out of such contact shall be valid, irrevocable, and enforceable. 3. Any party's man or woman having a controversy or claim of any sort respecting the Linton O'Neill Dallas Trust Estate or otherwise in reference to this agreement. That aforementioned parties shall and will be bound by the terms of this private agreement and must recognize as well as utilize the sole remedy of arbitration for resolving all issues associated with this private agreement. 4. This agreement shall be binding on all parties and shall be irrevocable as well as self-executing upon receipt. Any party defaulting on their obligation shall be liable for up to three times the value of this agreement or $1.8 million USD, whichever is greater, and shall constitute liability, acquiescence, and binding agreement, coupled with interest. 5. The parties agree that the non-defaulting party shall have sole right for choosing an independent arbitration association that shall choose at random any arbitrator who is not a member of the bar. Judiciary ACT 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685 All rights reserved Page 11 Association or subject to the Crown all parties are hereby bound by the dictates and terms of this binding self-executing agreement. 6. All party or public servants in receipt of or view this notice hereafter respondents are required by their oaths, oath of office to timely and fully answer. The period for respondents to respond to this notice is 15, 15 calendar days. 7. Any party or public servants wishing to answer, respond refute, rebut, deny, object, or protest any statement, term, declaration, denial or provision in this presentment must do so by lawful protest within 15, 15, calendar days of the date of issuance or forever lose all rights, title, interests, and the opportunity to plead. 8. All such responses must be verified and have exhibitions and factual evidence in support annexed thereto. Respondents may agree with all statements, terms, declarations, denials, and provisions herein by remaining silent. 9. Failure to timely respond to all such terms and provisions with which respondent disagree comprises respondent's stipulation and confession jointly and severally to acceptance of all statements, terms, declaration, conditions, and provisions herein as facts, the whole truth, correct and fully binding on all parties. 10. This document serves as notice of fault if respondents fail to timely respond and shall be deemed tacit acquiescence to all the terms and conditions of this agreement. 11. Notice of default shall be effective no sooner than 3, 3 calendar days after notice of fault is established by a tacit acquiescence. Default is final 3, 3 calendar days after notice of fault is established. 12. Default comprises respondents' consent jointly and severally to be named as defendants in various actions, administrative and judicial. Upon default, all matters are settled by arbitration, as stipulated. 13. Default comprises an estoppel of all actions, administrative and judicial, by respondents against the estate named, titled or known as Linton O'Neill Dallas, and now reasonably relied on, due to misconduct by the corporate public servants. 14. Further, the courts have found that corporate public servant 
who ignore their accountability, as mandated in Article 8 of the Bill of Rights have by their silence and failure to fully inform the sovereign people of the consequences arising from the corporate offer to contract, is deemed silent deception and inducement by fraud. This document constitutes testimony of a witness and attempt to coerce non-presentment or change its contents without supporting court admissible evidence on your part is criminal witness tampering. Quorum witness the mouth of two or more witnesses establishes a matter. Dallas, Linton O'Neill TM Copyright, voluntarily declare under penalty of perjury under the laws of the state domiciled House of Dallas and from without the United States identified in 26U.S.C.7701, A9, and A10, and under 28U.S.C.1746, that the foregoing facts are true and correct to the best of my knowledge and belief, so help me God. Date, April 9, 2020. Phone, 1-876-489-6016. Email, rossdallas1 at gmail.com. rossdallas1 at gmail.com. Authorized Representative. General Executor. By Linton O'Neill Dallas, Attorney in Fact. By Dallas, Linton O'Neill. Principal and General Executor of Slash for Slash over the Linton O'Neill Dallas Estate. Copyright Slash Copy Claim April 9, 2020.